Hello and welcome to Might Maths. We're continuing watching the Euro 2020 football tournament and we'll do some maths in football. So let's think about the whole game and how much maths there is. Well, the first thing I want to start with is there's lots of shapes. If you look at the pitch here, we've got rectangles, got a sphere, there's lines of symmetry, obviously there's the center circle. So there's definitely uh, shapes and symmetry. The next thing we've got is time because the whole game is uh, 90 minutes. Each half is 45. The referee's got to keep a track of what the time is when the goals are scored. So that's another part of maths that's in there. The next thing, obviously, is fractions and ratio. Say if we take the game between Netherlands and Ukraine, that was 3-2. Well, that's a ratio. And if I use the Sabutio set, with actually the Holland 74 team and the Cameroon 1990 team, Holland scored three goals to Ukraine's two, so there's a ratio of three to two. But as a fraction, Holland scored three-fifths of all the goals in that game. So you can see how ratio and fractions are related there. Almost ratio is the numerator of those fractions. Okay, the next thing we've got is obviously the points, because that's crucial. Using a newspaper here, you want to know how well your team's gonna do, given your results. Remember that a win gives you three points, a draw gives you one, and a loss gives you zero. So for England's big game tomorrow, they're hoping they're gonna get another win, because six points uh, will get you through. Um, Italy just won today, so this needs to be updated. So they'll get another three points and go uh, up to six. Okay, so there's shape, time, fractions, uh, points almost for problem solving and then obviously this is a big international tournament so there's always going to be some flags we'll see France there we'll see Germany we'll see Italy so lots of symmetry do look at my other uh, videos that involve uh, um, flags and all the ideas this is a book published by Oxford University Press and um, so just using that there so do look at the other videos looking at all the maths in flags so there you go that's Lots of different maths involved in a football match. Thanks for watching. Enjoy watching the rest of Euro 2020. And the next game is about to kick off, so I better go too.